Today we are going to have Sri Krishna Puja. It is a very important thing about the power of Sri Krishna that gives you a witness state. This is very important also because in these days of Kali Yuga and complete confusion of value system, all kinds of turmoil makes a very complex conditions to exist. The state of witnessing is only possible through meditation, you reach the state of thoughtless awareness. It's combined together. Now the witness state is such a state where you just do not react If you react, then the problem starts. It's a very simple thing to understand that we react through our ego or through our condition. Otherwise, there is no way to react. Anything, now for example, there is a beautiful carpet here. As soon as I look at it, if I use my ego, I'll start thinking now from where did they get it? How much they paid it? This is the first reaction. Then you can even go further with it. Anger can come in. Why did they bring such a nice carpet? What was the need to put it here? Goes on like that, one after another. Now in my conditioning, if I see these things, I would say that this color is not suited for Krishna Puja. They should have had another puja, another color for this Krishna puja. So this is, this kind goes on from one to another to another. But that means this conditioning is built up within us. All our problems of our conditioning are really horrible. Also the teeth and the tongue are looked after by Vishuddhi Chakra. So your teeth uh, which are in trouble get cured. You sometimes, as I told you, I have never been to a dentist all my life. So you can imagine that you don't have to go to the dentist anymore if you have your Vishuddhi Chakra all right. <coughs> then also your tongue improves. For example, some people are very sarcastic by temperament. They cannot say something sweetly. All the time they are sarcastic, saying sarcastic things. Some people have a habit of abusive language. Some people are extremely uh, beggarish type, all the time talking in a very beggarish manner. There's no dignity, there's no sweetness, and there is no self-confidence for some people. Some people even stammer. Some people cannot stand on the stage and give a lecture. All these things drop out as soon as your Vishuddhi Chakra improves. This is only outward. This is the outward manifestation of the Vishuddhi Chakra's improvement within yourself 
through the awakening of Shri Krishna on Shuddhi Chakra. But what happens really is that inside you, you become a witness. You become a witness in the sense that all that is disturbing, all that is troubling you, all that is a problem, you just start watching it. You start witnessing it, you start seeing it and you do not get disturbed. That seeing, that witnessing state has a tremendous power. Whatever you see without thinking, your problems get solved. Any problem you have, once you get this witness state, what you call tatastha, means you are standing on the shores and watching the waves to move, then you know how to solve the problems. So your witness state has to be developed and sometimes I have seen people have to go through little difficulties to develop that witness state. This is very important that once the Kundalini starts supplying you from uh, your sahasrara downward, moving on your uh, chakras and enriching your different chakras on the Vishuddhi chakra, when it has to stay, it really tries to uh, little bit take you through turmoils. And you start thinking that, see, now my life was so blissful, I had so many blessings, and now what has happened? But this is the time when you should become tatastha, means you should become a witness. If you become a witness, everything improves. For example, you are, say, a person who is working in some place. As soon as you become a witness, you see, your attention goes inside and you start watching things from inside out. As a result, you see exactly what's wrong where. And as you have got the power of witnessing, with that power you get over the problems that you have. Problems get solved very easily if you know how to witness the whole situation than to get involved into it. And this is the best state which we call as Sakshi Swarupatva, which you achieve when the Kundalini comes up and the connection is established and the Divine Ray starts following through that and enriches your Vishuddhi Chakra. So now we have three, three identities within ourselves. On the heart is Shiva, in the brain is Sri Krishna, the Virat, and in the liver, Brahmadeva. So we are three identities and in the stomach, in the void, as you say, are the, all the Guru Tattvas where all the great Gurus uh, from Adinath, Muhammad Sahib and others up to, we can say, Shirdi Sainath, all of them are the Guru principle which we worshipped last time <coughs> when we were <coughs> in Andorra. So, how they are all related with each other, how they have worked out together and brought you to the state of this witness is very important. Now your Vishuddhi Chakra has to be improved. First of all, this feeling guilty business was so much yesterday that I tell you it was impossible to pull it out. There's nothing to feel guilty, it's a fashion, just a fashion, I'm sorry, Morning till evening, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? For being a human being or for a surgeon? So one has to be very pleasant towards oneself also. All the time, I'm sorry, I should not have done this, I should not have done that. All the time feeling sorry and feeling guilty spoils your left Vishuddhi. As a left Vishuddhi is spoiled, what happens is that your Shri Krishna Tattva is gone. Then you cannot feel the collective then you cannot understand what's gone wrong with you. So just if you have to say sorry also, say, say sorry to God and after that don't say sorry anymore. You face it. Whatever you have done wrong, all right, face it. This was wrong, all right, it will not be done. Do not argue with it. Do not continue with it. Just face it and say this was wrong, 
and this wrong I will not do again. And it's finished, for you are, after all, saints now. You have become now valleys, you have become now realized souls, you have become now Atmajas. You have got Brahma Chaitanya, you have seen on your heads there was light, you have seen the proof of it. So I don't have to give you a second certificate, only thing, you better understand and be aware of your own position. As Sri Krishna has said, you have to be aware of yourself. First to get Self-realization and then to be aware of your position. Then you will be surprised how you develop proper attention and proper understanding. Absolutely it's an easy thing to do as soon as you find that you have achieved that witness state. So please try to make yourself a witness. When you see something, go into thoughtless awareness. That is your foot. Don't think. See the beauty that is there. Just pouring in. Just watch how these trees are standing still, just watching you all. See, absolutely still, nothing is moving. They don't allow even one leaf to move. Let it be. Till the breeze starts, Mother starts the breeze, till we just keep quiet and watch. Like these mountains, how they are steadily watching everything and emitting joy and beauty. In the same way, we have to become a witness. We need not talk too much, we need not keep quiet, but in the center we should witness the whole thing as Leela. That's why he's called as Leela Dhara, means the one who sustains the Leela of persons. It doesn't make you mad, it doesn't make you funny, but it makes you joyous. Anything that makes you joyous is the Vishnu principle of Sri Krishna. I hope all of us are going to enjoy our Vishnu principle hereafter as we have enjoyed before by meditating. Because when we meditate, we go into thoughtless awareness. When we are in thoughtless awareness, then only we grow, otherwise we cannot grow. Whatever we may try, we cannot grow. Unless and until we meditate, we cannot become thoughtlessly aware. All those who also want to gain in any walk of life, in any dimension, those who want to become, say, great artists, great scientists, great anything, in Sahaja Yoga is important, you must meditate, otherwise the Kundalini will come down and you'll lose all your talents. That's a fact which has to be told and you have seen how people got transformed. But sometimes it can be very temporary and it may go down if people do not take to it in the proper way. I wish you all very great luck for your witness state. In the witness state, we do not uh, anyway uh, express ourselves in a funny manner, but just in looking at ourselves, because only we have created all the problems. Uh, it is we only, detaching ourselves from ourselves, can see these problems and can solve them. By God's grace, as I know you all are going to grow very much, and this state is to be achieved. In every state, whether it is a blessing, whether it is a progress, or whether it is just turmoil, you have to be seaworthy. Any ship which is a seaworthy is the one which can face all kinds of beautiful uh, voyages or even turmoils and even the tempest. May God bless you.